Nice. And right. and to uh to be my uh, ghost, it's uh, Monkey Madness. I'm you have a ghost writer? Yeah, Mo Monkey Madness debate for me. That's that's your new goal. Yo yo hello, yo what's up guys? Yo. You know after listening to that debate, I can tell that Connor was molested as a child. So <laughs> we don't need to gay more. <laughs> Instantly serve for beauty. The moment he draws hey, Connor, I'm like, all right, he's not there. Not yeah, what, that's just true. retarded. I'm having it. This is a great use of my time tonight. I have work to do, but I'll do that later. All right, not important. Oh, am I good? Am I good to go? You're good to go. Am I good to go? Oh, hell yeah. Um, All I just wanted to say was technicals. I love the fuck out of your new video. It was fucking great. And I've been Thank arguing you, like man. your points for like two months straight. I actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. Holy shit, what a fucking <laughs> sin. We don't I appreciate it. Sir. All right. How do you Monkey how do you say that characters. and not just feel like the biggest tag of all time? I mean for anyone. I agree with you, Connor. We're homophobic in this area. All right. Uh, can you hear me? I love your video log. Yeah, I've been arguing your points for two months. Well, yeah, I agree, you. Connor. Can, can any can anyone I hear can me? Hear. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, Connor, you fucking suck. You Good all on. you had to say two technicals was that even if some of your points are correct you're black therefore you're wrong okay good one betrayal that's such a great i great like how matt pitt has this job here. that's a matt pitt he has one leg so i can't mute him hell yeah no nah, don't mute him he's I'm great not. all right another challenger a rematch you're unmuted uh well, I'm, I mean, I'm not really to debate anything. I just have a question for Tech um, from to clear up. So uh, when this whole, like, drama first started, right, uh, you, Augie, and Nick, um, I feel like at the start it was a very, like, cordial disagreement. Like, you were like, okay, well, we should agree to disagree. Would you agree with that? Yeah, that's what I was aiming um, for, yeah. So when, when do you think that changed? Um, I think Nick was probably the biggest factor in that because he started tweeting out, he started subtweeting me shit like, hashtag, welcome back, Red Kiwis. And like um, a bunch of other tweets insinuating that I would support and make defense videos for other people that I probably wouldn't. Um, and then we had this uh, whole heated argument over Twitter. And then he leaks a DM where we were talking to the point where Keemstar even added him in one of our group chats and told him not to fucking DM leak. Um, but then that DM leak pissed off Augie because I said Augie's arguments were shit in the DM leak, which he, he posted in a response that was entirely irrelevant to what we were talking about, too. So I thought it was weird. Um, and that's kind of what exacerbated the uh, the issue. All right. Well, thanks. That that's all I wanted to ask. Yeah. No problem. All right. Anyone else? You know what? I'll I'll ask a question. Uh, I'm not. Care. I just want to point out. I'm not. I'm joking, okay. Well, on. fuck you. All right. Go on. Uh, I'm not. I just want to point out. I'm just here for my own curiosity. I'm not representing Tommy, but I did want to uh, want to know. Tommy had uh, more of a nuanced take. You know, he said that he didn't like one he didn't call uh zero a pedo uh he said that uh going after brother although he may have understand it I, he can understand why you're pissed off so i was just wondering like why exactly did you uh your from your perspective why did you go after tommy why i snap at tommy yeah fucking um like yeah sure he's uh he did have probably the most mellow take i would agree on the whole situation and i probably would have even gone so far as to like apologize to him for going that hard if his immediate right. response wasn't to make fun of zero suicide it seems to be all of these people's immediate response is to make fun of suicide as if that's like a, a funny thing or if i've ever like uh stooped to that level um because uh tommy tommy he's not the worst guy like i, I right. probably went a, a little hard and it was kind of the tone of the video um but also he he's wrong on his points about me just clipping him out of context to shit because in that stream with Mini Lad, where they ask if he's a pedophile, there's nowhere in the stream where it clears up that he's not a pedophile or he doesn't think he's a pedophile. So he's kind of he is lumped in with that kind of uh, mentality. But I do understand why Tommy would uh, feel personally slighted. I just don't appreciate him making fun of the suicidal shit. And if anything, Tommy would be like one of the few people I probably wouldn't mind like uh, going and talking to. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks for that, Pentacles. Yeah. No problem, Matt. All right, Hella, you're next. What the fuck are you? Too many people in this fucking call. I hate all of you. 
it's hard to organize dude my back is starting to hurt a little bit i might have to like get food in a little bit i'm not trying to like uh like dip out before uh everyone says their piece because this, this is like a substitute for everyone that wants to know shit wait can you hear me barely yeah turn um, your mic up dude i had discord for a little while now and i still don't know a lot of shit so. i can't hear it can you guys hear this guy i'll have to turn him up i'll just turn him up oh, i can't hear him wait can you hear me better now or it still sucks i turned you up still okay. close, man. I can... I, we can understand you yeah okay um the only question I have is, does weird mean bad to you, Tech? That's my only question. In what context? Um, well, you use it in a lot of different contexts throughout the situation. Give me an example. Um, when talking about people like um, Zero, he, mm -hmm. you call, he says weird. And when you talk about Augie, you called um, 18... 18 whatever weird 18 15 like, weird yeah i did yeah. i genuinely believe that i don't know why he said it was virtue signaling um i don't think a senior dating a freshman is cool either um but just because i don't think it's cool doesn't mean i'm gonna like hypergate every person that thinks that way yeah okay yeah that was my only question yeah because people seem to think weird means bad immediately so yeah, it doesn't mean, like, if you think this, like, you're a disgusting fucking human being. It just means, like, I personally, like, that's my personal opinion. If I see an 18-year-old dating a 15-year-old, the first thing I think is, uh, what fucking situation is he in where he's hanging out with all these 15-year-olds? Which, obviously, would be high school context is the next logical step. And then secondly, this, this person is, one, under the age of consent of over a majority of the United States. Two, can't even have a fucking, like, permit. And and three, you have like a job and you're about getting ready to go to college. So it just from the, with those different factors, I think it's weird personally. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. That's all I had. All right. Thank I... you. Okay. Now, Jessica Pizzles, you're next. I was wondering when she'd hop in. She's been here. So, she responded. Or... I've, no, I've been here. Yes. I've been here for a while. So I did want to ask, is it fair to say the only reason why you went after Zaptai was because they went after your brother? Um, definitely didn't do him any favors. Uh, they used the excuse of my brother being a public figure, which is fine. Like, I get that. But then you can't turn around and say that Zaptai is untouchable when he's not any of their blood, like, related family or anything. And his situation is entirely public. So. Yes, I always found that strange that whole argument between yeah. both of you guys was like it's like okay well now we're bringing in random other people so that's it's just, what i'm wondering it's like i get it like they try they tried to they literally like attached him to the entire situation they didn't just bring him up they attached him to my motivations which kind mm -hmm. of annoyed the shit out of me because this is like a five-year-old thing and like my brother already went through like all the emotional stuff and like lost he lost a lot of things when this happened initially and then they're trying to say oh he needs consequences um when my position was never that anyone should be deplatformed and then they're trying to say shit like oh you, well you still support your brother it's like yeah well i also support zero so it's not really a fucking argument so is so my whole thing is because you support zero and whatnot it just seems like you're like, all right, fine. You guys don't want you guys want to say that zero is bad. Here's all these people, but in reality, you actually do support Zaptai. It's just um, you're not I, yeah, I, him because of the zero situation because they're not. It's right. like a yeah, yeah. I support his right to upload content. I'm not. I was actually really happy when I went through all of his videos. I didn't see any hate replies. I went through all of his uh, replies on Twitter. Didn't see any hate comments. I'm happy to see that. I'm glad to see that. He, uh, people are not taking the jokes too literally and like running around calling him a pedophile. I don't want anyone to run around and call him a pedophile because I know what that yeah. does to people's mentality. And I understand that. But at the same time, when I'm getting smeared by like a fuck ton of people at the same time and they're inconsistent, I, I literally have to defend myself. Yeah. So like I'm kind of put, I'm putting a corner there. Yeah. I mean, it just seemed like it, it, it dug you into like this really bad hole 
I, I understood what you were doing because I do it online all the fucking time. I'm like, oh, okay, so you think that's okay? Well, what about this? What about that? Like, at, at, like mm-hmm. I do that, so I understand why you were making the argument. But you, but on such a big platform, you have to understand that you making that argument would indefinitely or definitely become. Oh, so he supports. I understood. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, t- I totally understood. When I, when, when I made that video, I was like, I'm going to have to deal with some comments, call me a pedophile defender. But you know what? I wasn't expecting that from the people who I had just hung out with the month before and told them about the video I was fucking working on. That's what kind mm. of fucked with me. Mm. Uh, you, so you told them that you were working on the Zero video? Yeah, I told them that the lawsuit, I told them about the lawsuit uh, being prepped up and shit like that. And I was, I was telling them, like, I was really excited about the video and shit. Um, and, and a lot of people were telling me like, this is going to be pretty spicy. You know, it's like a hot take that you're fending. And I was like, okay, yeah, I can take the, I can take the heat. Um, but then the people that I either worked with on the video or like were kind of close with, like with, uh, Nick working on the sky house thing were the people that turned on me. So I was like, what, what the fuck? This is, this isn't what I expected. Yeah. All right. Especially, especially John Swan, because he worked on the he only worked on the last like a uh, title card of the zero video. Um, and then he makes an entire video shitting on that video that he is in the credits of without ever messaging me ever. Like Well, that's kind of like the Mama Max thing. Like Mama Max included all these YouTubers and they knew like the basic like the basic of what the video was gonna be about, but they didn't know mm-hmm. exactly what it was the gonna framing. like they didn't yeah. The, yeah, the framing of it. So it's kind of like, yeah, John Swan worked on it, but he probably thought, oh, this is a, diff- you know, this is a kind of like, here's all the lies that were told on Zero. Yeah, I know, I know. But like, if he had a problem with it, you'd think he'd come to me and, and like try to get his name taken off the project, right? At least, at the very least, if he had like a problem with the framing of the whole video, it would be pretty reasonable to be like, oh yeah, he would reach out and try to get his name off of it. Because that's what I would do. Yeah. Well, he's Australian now, so... Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) his morals are all fucked. (laughs) I mean, they're all kind of weird over there. So I mean, it's just (laughs) because if he had if he had these if he had these huge problems with the video, I wish I just wish he would have came to me and like told me that he had these problems. Yeah, that's 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 all. I mean, I mean, there there is that, and then there are times where like I know for a fact that they hide. You know, they hide things so that people don't get a lot of shit kind of situation. But mm-hmm. for the most part, it's 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 been known since the John Swan thing that, oh, we don't do this privately. We don't do anything. But I know that they pick and choose of what's going to be private and what's not going to be private. Yeah. But I honestly, in, in that situation, after everything was all heated, I mean, I, I, don't, I really don't see why. He, I don't think he thought that you would actually do anything. So he just made an assumption and then went on with the assumption. You basically know what I mean? That I was pussy. <laughs> yeah, he basically was like, oh, technicals is pussy. He he sees me stand on the, the corpses of an entire community. He's like, oh yeah, technicals is pussy. He won't do shit. John Swan is not the brightest uh, content creator. Oh, <laughs> no, I mean, like, I just didn't think, because honestly, if I was if I was in any of their shoes, and we had already gone through a big blow up on Twitter. The last thing I'd probably do is think that you would want to do anything for me. Mm-hmm. And then so, they started I mean, making these compilations of me saying like, like supporting them and shit when that's totally irrelevant to them fucking me over. Yeah. 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 All right. That's all I had. <laughs> I. I <laughs> mute me because I don't want to leave the. Mute her the moment she said I could. I was happy. <laughs> Women Jesus. should not be able to speak. That was our first mistake. Anyways, oh God. who else wants to talk to technicals or can tech go get some lunch and stuff? Yeah. Can we like uh have like one or two more and then I'll, I'll so we just know it's official so no one like accused me of ducking or whatever? I uh recorded this if you don't mind. A tech. I don't give a shit. All right. Yeah, I don't. As long. Well, I know it'll probably get clipped out of context, but well, everyone I'm will fuck. If I was just gonna upload the entire thing. No. Yeah, that's fine, dude. All right. So Lanza wants to talk again. You're unmuted. 
Uh, I just had one more thing, I guess, to point out. You were going over with Connor about how there was no in Con what was Connor was trying to say that there wasn't enough like intent for Zapdi to go over and fuck her, right? Like to fly over. Yeah, and I I agreed with him. Yeah. Okay, so I was I was looking it up through the Nick video. Um, there's a quote from the girl herself saying that. Um, actually, I'll post it again in the chat if you don't mind. No, that chick's a liar. Is she a liar? Like she's a liar. I mean, it's a well, woman, yeah. So why would you believe them in the first place? Well, no, because like she, I mean, she did lie, but no, I'm fucking did, with no, you. I, I was just I was just gaslighting okay, Connor. I, I, I think you, I thought that was a joke. I I'm still trying to catch up. This is new yeah. to me, but she says I genuinely don't remember if this has been said before. But he said he was planning a trip to Washington to come and see me and have sex. Yeah, that's also yeah. So wait, doesn't that mean that Connor was just kind of circling for no reason? Yes. <laughs> That's that's why I just started agreeing God. with them, and then it, yeah. Damn it, man! This is all new to me now. I just feel like I wanted I you guys. Like I, I wanted you guys. On, but fuck. I wanted you guys to hear the logical conclusion of me agreeing with him, and just continue to agree with him, so he could, because he's like sitting there. He's like, "Fuck, he agreed. Uh, I can't argue in a fucking circle anymore." And then we get to the logical conclusion of him saying he wants to go fuck this girl and waiting to fuck this chick is not conspiring to go travel and fuck this chick. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That's just crazy. Like, I, cause like, I don't know Connor. I don't know. I, I know none of these people, but my mind is just like, like this has to be out of like, this is bad faith. Yeah. It's, it's what he's been doing on like Twitter. And Holy everywhere, shit, which, dude. My mind has been me blown. Yeah. I have to look at this shit in a whole different light now. All right, just just clarifying. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right. I, yeah, I just there's a certain point where I repeat myself where I just kind of give up. Yeah, that's fair. I understand. All right, anyone else? I'm going once. Bo Blacks, Bo Blacks, challenge me. I challenge you. <laughs> I don't. Want... <laughs> you don't. My dick's too small. What the fuck? My dick ain't too small. <laughs> I mean. No, I'm fucking with you, Boblax. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> I know you don't want to be involved. Yeah. Uh, you got Nerd City to worry about, bro. Yeah, dude. Fucking Nerd City. Dude, according to Nerd City, this is a private convo right now with everybody. In okay, it. yeah, I do agree that him saying that was a little bit like, like, it's pretty obvious that someone's going to have like a recording or something. But you had like a whole five. But where the fuck did you get five minutes and 30 seconds of that? Five minutes and 30 seconds of that. I think that's what it was, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, he was having like a, uh, he was having like a Discord space or whatever right after his video released. And I was thinking of maybe making like a Twitter versus on it or whatever. Oh, and I was okay. listening to it in like his space. It's yeah. like a Twitter space. And I just thought I'd like record it to have on hand in case he says anything interesting about the video. It wasn't like I was I expecting that. him. Yeah, and then Wavy was in there, and he like mentioned my name because he saw me in there. I kind of feel bad for you, Boblax, because I know you're a good dude, but I also, I at the same time, I understand where Nerd City's coming from with the the whole DM leaking and shit. Like, it's just a matter of respect, and like, it's it's just annoying to deal with people attacking your because I've dealt with the same fucking thing. Uh, people attacking the big project you worked on and kind of derailing. Um, because I can't even go after Nairo mm. right now because all yeah. this. Shit. So, yeah, the DM leaking point, well, uh, that was three years ago, so I don't know, like, what the context was mm -hmm. of it, and generally I won't leak DMs unless it's, like, uh, unless they're, like, lying about me or screwing me over, and I assume it was the same back then, but I can't fully mm -hmm. remember. Um, I just find it weird that he's, like, so, like, pissed and mad at yeah. me, like, I, three I years you. after the fact. And also, like, that beginning rant... Where he was like, you wasted so much of our valuable time. Bro, I was like a fucking, I don't know, like 30k sub YouTube channel, like being skeptical about a random YouTube video I made. I didn't even at him. I remember I didn't even at him. He had no obligation to respond to me, especially if he was strapped for time. And I looked it up myself okay. and he ended up being right. So like, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, I guess I he can it. be annoyed at it, but like, especially like three years later. In the context like, of you being a smaller channel too, and just kind of like trying to uh, look into the details of stories. I yeah, can see yeah, yeah. That fuck up. He, he, and he said, he said I was doing it to like latch onto the story and get clout, but I was literally tweeting to like an under 10K follower Twitter account without adding him. Just saying I'm skeptical about, I didn't call him a liar. I just said I'm skeptical about, because some of the, words that were getting demonetized with shit like restaurant i was like yeah. what the fuck 
Because, like, I, I always thought that people were, like, over-exaggerating with, like, the demonetization. Because I've had, like, videos where, like, I quote people or other people say, like, N-word in it and it doesn't get demonetized. So, like, I don't know. I, I just felt like it was overblown. and I, don't, I feel, I don't I feel bad for you because you were excited for the upload and then he just kind of shits on you. He, out yeah, of he ruined the upload for me. I was really hyped about the upload. I liked it. And I was, like, listening to his shit. Like, I went into his Discord. I, like, clicked that free NFT thing or whatever, which I don't have now, by the way, because I'm banned from the Discord. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and I was, like, all hyped. And then, like, he just shat on me out of nowhere. I was, like, high as fuck listening to that. I was, like, so <laughs> fucking upset. But, Hi, uh, Bo Blacks is the best Bo Blacks. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was so upset. And then, like, I don't know. See, like, the next day I was, like, super depressed because everyone was, like, praising the video, which is, like, obviously, like, well deserved the video was fucking great um mm -hmm. but it just like feels bad because it's like this guy just shat on me and everyone's praising so i understand but like it was like a bit of a yeah. situation i guess uh also well, yeah the cave video shit was really weird monkey in the chat the cave video was so fucking weird he's like i think I you was know what worried i think yeah, you know yeah. what I think, Roblox? I think it's like kind of also connected because you gotta remember you're like in like close proximity with Nicholas Diorio, who also made like a whole fucking thing and derailed Nerd City on his Logan Paul or his Jake Paul thing. Was it Jake Paul? I think it was it was Jake Paul. It was uh, Jake Paul. Yeah. Yeah, Jake yeah Paul. but he also did the yeah Lele Pons thing after, which I agree with Nick's points on that video. Yeah, but, but um, he, he like probably is like in his mind he's connecting you yeah, in that kind of circle. Yeah, and I get he actually said that in DMs, and I'm like, yo, treat me like an individual or whatever. That like yeah, back in do, the 2019 you get, shit. You do get shit shit on um, a lot for that kind of association. Yeah, but like apparently he had a call with Nick and they squashed the beef and really no, he hasn't blocked Nick, but he's still mad at me. It just really, yeah, I oh. don't know. Well, hope I hope you guys actually squash it in the yeah, future. Yeah, I would love I to like squash it. Big of a deal. Yeah, I, I would love to squash it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. What I think it's a bigger deal is that he had a grudge for that long. And then the tone in his voice, maybe I was high as fuck and just like upset <laughs> or something. Maybe shit. you called him the hard R. Maybe, well, maybe uh, something happened here. But like the tone of his voice, like he sounded like he like literally, like he hated me, like just Mm -hmm. like so much it was just so like off-putting i was like what the fuck like came out of nowhere dude i get you yeah so clearly jealous because you're autistic the superior race of yeah people. there was also like another scenario that happened with like nerd city a while ago where i did like a twitter versus on him and i was talking about the lele pons shit in a pretty objective way and then he said like he started he blocked me and then he started dming my fans saying that like i was lying in the video and then i called him out i'm like yo if you have a problem just talk to me why are you dming my fans and he got like really mad about that too so he's just done like a lot of like weird okay i didn't even know shit. about that one yeah that's an extra context yeah 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 so yeah i don't know it, it's just really it's really weird and off-putting honestly i don't want to be enemies with anybody <laughs> i dude the, the second this whole thing started you were fed sitting from the from the jump oh but yeah, i see the, i see some of the live streams and i'm like oh boblax is kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because if he doesn't agree like he might piss someone off yeah no yeah everything i say in my live streams i mean like i'm not like no you're a liar on your side i'm gonna attack Wait. you what the fuck? <laughs> no, honestly, like I'm fucking with you. The other they they've told told me I've been fencing too. I don't like. I guess maybe in some sense I'm not like as vocal, but I, I feel like I have given out my opinion. Like I said, my opinion on Twitter, where it was like, uh, I I don't remember. It was like something along the lines of I don't think Zapta is comparable to Zero in the way you're making it, which I agree. Uh, and, and I've said stuff on the live streams, but like. I guess I'm not just not like like that laying it on as, it. laying it yeah. on a stick. I don't know. It's just a sad <clears throat> situation. I don't like that your uh, my take generally is like I don't like that your brother got involved. I don't like that Zapti got involved. I feel like it just turned into something that's just yeah. Really no one apologized on for literally my family. Like they want to say, oh dude, he's bringing up his family. It's just because he's a fucking public figure doesn't make him magically not my family anymore. Like that's gonna affect me more than Zaptai. I don't care how close anyone is to Zaptai. That's that's like twenty four years of uh growing up with this dude. So it's a little bit yeah. Different I definitely for me. get it. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't wanna. No, I get it. I, you, or whatever, yeah, you don't need but... to make like a grand statement. Uh, on it. We understand, Bublox. 
like like I said, I don't care that you disagree with me. Like it's fine. Yeah, like, I I would be upset if someone was bringing up fucking. Well, I am upset that John Swan brought up zero in the light that he did because he was being like willfully dishonest um, with my arguments, um, and I dealt with that. Um, but I have no problem with people just fucking disagreeing with me and and uh, having their issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I do want to make this clear because I know people are recording this and this might come up as like drama later on or whatever. But like, I do like I'm not I'm I'm firmly like against most of the stuff you've said in like the videos and stuff like that like i disagree with a lot of your points Mm -hmm. i mean you've been debating everybody in this chat so i don't like care to debate it now i feel like it's uh you know kind of pointless but like yeah i i do generally like i don't think i i think what zapped i did is like way less worse than what zero did but i also think what zero did is way less worse than like mini lad and kiwis um i don't think either zapped i or zero is a pedo Although they have made mistakes in the past. Uh, well, there's also the thing. Um, I, I talked about this with Glink about the disassociation from like the the uh, actions that you're doing when you're when it comes to these online settings and you're talking to people like uh, it happens in discord servers all the time where you're talking to someone and you don't realize that they're 16. So the conversation might veer off into something like dick jokes and stuff so, like stuff that probably wouldn't be the best thing to be talking about to a 16 year old if you're in your like like your mid 20s yeah um, for sure yeah yeah so like this disassociation might contribute to the fact that they're talking to someone that is not an appropriate age but also doesn't mean that they just are attracted to all people of that age yeah uh it, it's such it's such a like this whole argument is so like tricky because it all stems from like the core concept of like whether you think like these situations make someone a pedo because there's because there's mm-hmm. a difference between like I don't know making a huge mistake, which by the way, like it's an easy mistake to avoid. The common average person. I would say, I would it, use as an made. as an example. I would use like Nairo, who his excuse is that he got blackmailed into oral sex with a 15 year old. But I would say that is like over the fucking line, and at no point would I um, support that. But if it can't be prosecuted, like if if he's gonna be able to fucking legally bury this, I mean you can't terminate the guy. But I can make I can make my voice as loud as possible. On yeah. That. Yeah, I don't know about the Nairo situation, but what I'm basically saying is there's a difference between doing something sketch in in certain scenarios or whatever versus, like, actually having the mental capacity of being attracted to kids, like, ten years from now, zero, whoever else would still be, like, attracted to kids and seeking out kids. And Mm -hmm. there's no way to prove that. That's the issue. There's no way to prove that. I mean, you say that, like, he had this mess up seven years ago, but it hasn't, like, repeated again, and you think that is enough for him to well, not I, offend I again I and think... other people disagree and i think yeah, yeah, yeah. both opinions are valid but it's just like we can't know for sure we can't look into the no mind and know. heart of these people and people have brought up good arguments with zero in, in the sense that like i feel like he hasn't shown like a lot of remorse uh for the katie situation versus like zapped i showed a lot of remorse for uh his situation versus like i heard that like zapped i uh, uh and as soon as he heard that the age was like very very low like he and he was like getting 13. tricked he like backed off uh versus like zero just once he found out she was 14 he like kept going in so there's a lot of nuance to uh each situation yeah personally well, you can also bring up yeah. the fact that uh Zaptai was a law student and should have known that what he was doing probably wasn't okay and that's probably why the context of those uh gay, gay red jokes have some sincerity to them he st- he stopped once he knew she was like 16 though right or like seven no that's not anywhere in the case all um right. he admits to talking to a uh, 16 year old in his reddit confession and then he says he would never stoop to talking to like a 13 year old because that's what people were saying the girl was was 13 yeah i mean either way it's bad and, and i'm pretty sure like he's openly acknowledged that it's bad like back yeah, then yeah. and now uh mm-hmm. but like at the end of the day i don't think either zero or zapti are actual pedos or will reoffend and uh, or, or like make a mistake again or whatever um and that's like i guess personal Careful, opinion or whatever if you out of context if you call it a, a mistake or a misstep you, i don't know what word you have to use but you got to use a specific word or else you'll get clipped by john swan looking at the details i do think like maybe the zero situation's worse uh but 
like well, I genuinely it, don't think either of them are pedos. Uh, yeah, I think I think at that point it's getting semantics because if we're gonna say that both are bad, but we also don't believe like XX and X about them, I feel like it's kind of like um just just talking in circles because we we basically yeah. agree. I mean, a lot but, of this is semantics. The whole argument that you guys are having like boils down to whether or not you think these actions that both uh, these people did. Uh, like is in uh, indicative of them like continuing that type of behavior, right? Mm -hmm. And it all comes down to opinion. And there's there's no right answer. That's the issue with this. You know, there's only the facts uh, that we mm -hmm. can like look on and agree on, and then like uh, come out with an opinion on. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> My headset's being retarded. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just an annoying thing to fucking deal with in the first place. Yeah. Because if if I'm arguing from like a both a legal and a moral standpoint, but then people nit nitpick the legal and then apply it to my morals as a person, and then I have to defend myself from accusations of like being okay with this kind of shit, it, it's really fucking annoying uh, on my end. Yeah, I've been. I mean, I've been looking at the situation since it happened, obviously, and it's like so, like my mind, like. It's so like it like I I get like cross wired on like so many things because like it it feels like there's like twenty different arguments happening simultaneously that are all loosely connected together and like yeah I can like look at every single individual thing and give my opinion on it and give my stance but when I'm trying to give my stance on the overall thing it's just it, I feel like there's so many different arguments from so many different people all relating to different things and then there's uh, accusations of one side being dishonest or another side uh, dude if i have to hear the or fucking whatever. Word disingenuous one more time i'm gonna fucking shoot myself i'm so tired of hearing the word yeah i think you're being disingenuous like god damn man that, that is the buzzword of the fucking month i would be neutral and calm if this didn't get personal as fuck yeah this got yeah, I don't like that it got personal. Because, like, I like the fucking, like, funny, like, fighting or whatever. Like, regardless of who I agree with, I like the funny, like, jabs like you and Tipster have or, like, you and John will have about, like, each other's character or whatever. <laughs> I love my wife. I never cheat uh, on my wife. <laughs> but when it comes to all this, like, personal shit, like, with your brother and the Zapdi stuff and, to a certain extent, Zero, and it's just, like... This is, like, very serious stuff, and obviously, like, it'll have, like, negative effects on the mental of all these people, which all these people, I think, are, like, innocent of being pedos, right? Yeah. Uh, but it, like, all affects them very negatively, like, the fact that this is being talked about, like, obviously affects Zapti's mental, probably affects maybe oh. Zero's, I don't know how much he's paying attention to this, and obviously your brother's as well, and I just don't want to, like... It, it, like all the other stuff is like funny with like tips or what have you but like i don't know there's so many like people's mental health at stake when it comes to this stuff which is why i'm kind of like uh well that's the thing if know. if nick if nick and augie would have just like agreed to disagree and left it where they uh tweeted out that shit that they respect my hot takes and that i save lives and shit this would have never gotten to this point this this would have never been a thing, but they had to make it a thing because they read the they probably like talked to John Swan or something. I don't know what the fuck like change, but something just changed in the water and I could see them coming at me sideways and I did not understand it at all. I, yeah, I'm not going to speak for them, but yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, so just to just to conclude technicals, in your opinion, you are saying that zero is not a pedophile. I fucking hate you, man. <laughs> All right, banning cunt. You need two legs Hell to be yeah. in the server. But yeah, just Fuck to man. like clarify hey, for people who think I'm fence sitting, and in some sense, I guess I am. But uh, <laughs> uh, in terms of like being nice to each party, but uh, I generally, I, I mostly disagree with technicals, uh, and I could go more in depth on you know why but obviously as i said there's like a million different arguments and it'll you go in like any years. amount of depth i'm gonna make a 50 minute video oh on shit Black. yeah 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 no uh, <laughs> i have a bunch no no i'm, I'm not problems. worried about some people say like i'm i'm being neutral because like i'm worried about tech making video i don't give a fuck i'll give my i'll give my opinion and if technicals wants to fucking roast me or make a video or like go after me for it you're I'm like not, welcome to whatever. Dude, I'll just give. You, I'm giving my opinion straight up. I'm not afraid of that shit. I'm just like I just don't want to affect.
people's mentals of the people I already mentioned. Is and I just sweetheart. don't want to. I'd never touch a hair on his little autistic head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, generally, like, I disagree with uh, most of what you said. And I, I think I outlined my opinion pretty clear in my live streams about it uh, and mm-hmm. tweets, but. Uh, I watched yeah. your live stream with that that one chick and then Edgar. Yeah, yeah, because I saw uh, the franchise clip that one part. Yeah. Where I was yeah. trying to catch that fucking Badoof, and then he fucking died. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Is there anyone else that has something to say? Because I might, I might hop off. I think I actually uh, fucked up my headset. No, nah, you're going to buy a new one. You can leave now. You so I made it through me. the RFC gauntlet. Let's go. That's some Chad King shit. I expect Augie in my Discord for uh, six hours tomorrow, starting at um, 12 a.m. Wait, no, 12 I don't p.m. Think that's fair, okay? In your gun, no, you had to fight I'm, I'm fucking. You had to fight Smaggle. That's not that was that was round one. Yeah, that was round, round one was Smaggle. <laughs> Uh, that was uh, that was literally just gonna be a shit a shit flinging uh contest until he shut the fuck up. Tech beat the gauntlet and my racism. GG. Let's go. My racism. DM the Discord link. My Discord link is for patrons and members, so I don't want to get uh, leaked to other people. Give me a dollar and you can be in. A dollar? Shit. Hold on. Let me go in my wallet. That's the. I think the first, uh, the most recent post on my Patreon is my uh, Discord server, and it's only a dollar to become a patron, and you get into the credits. Show your chocolate bussy, and you'll win the debate. God damn. Invite. Oh, Harapon said, "Invite the tomato man guy." Yeah, he can get an invite. All right, I'm gonna stop recording. Y'all can do whatever you want.